Okay, so when I come in, this is what I see. And when I come over here, down here are my extra envelopes and file folders and things like that that I like. And then we come over here, and then we have my color bands. And the tops are um, flat. And then these are your lump and bumps and so on and so forth. And then with this bookcase, I get space for two kit storage. That's the one I used the other night. This is my heritage. I have my washi tapes on these three. And then I still have to label these. This is Stickles. That's um, Color Shine Mist, Perfect Pearls and Embossing Powders and glitter. Then we just have embroidery floss here, extra adhesives, and um, gelatos I have for some reason, and sequins, and then down there's more glitter. So up here, these are my Valentine's, Fall, Halloween, I think that's fall. I don't know what that is. Maybe it, hmm. fall, winter, Christmas, and chipboards, and Echo Park Christmas. And then these are my things with the various embellishments. And these are my Christmas paper pads that I've taken apart and still have to organize. These are my paper pads that I haven't broken down, and then old albums on the bottom. And then here we go with categories, here through here. Then I have um, home and family labeled, and new papers labeled. So that's where my newer ones go. Then I've got my colors of my pattern papers up here, black, gray, brown, beige, ivory, purple, navy, blue, aqua, green, yellow, orange, coral, red, dark pink, light pink. And this is card stuff I need to put away. Then below that is red, pink, red, coral, orange, yellow orange, yellow, yellow green, green, blue green, and blue cardstock. Then we have navy, blue violet, violet, ivory, beige, brown, white, gray, and black. Um, these are stripes, the multicolors, florals, dots, and plaids. And then more categories with, you know, birthday, kids, male and female. I haven't reorganized those. This is Heritage. These are my die cuts with the view solids because I don't like them so much. But um, I figured I can use them for backing on layouts. So, And then this has all my information on the SCT kits that I've had each year and then no kits that I've ordered then these are the different classes writing to remember SG and SCT 365 classes all the P page maps university these are collections and that are die cuts and chipboard stickers and such by theme by rainbow I keep RTS info in there this is all Christmas, fall, Halloween, summer, and winter. This is Get It Scrapped. These are my embossing folders, punches and die catalogs, and that's gonna have to be redone. <laughs> and then these are just some six by eight notebooks. This is Carrie Bradford's history project class, and I'm trying to work on a layout planner thing. Then we have summer, in spring here, I still have to kind of 
do these. That's what's left to do. And then I have my sketch binder. Moving over here, I have all my enamel dots because I needed more. And Brad's. And what's down here is school related kit um, embellishments and some Halloween. Here we have my little six by six pads. These are 12 by six. I start making a catalog of my silhouette uh, cut files that I kind of grouped together with all arrows, all um, different things. These are die cut backgrounds I've done. And then my book with die cuts. This is my book on color. And this is supposed to be my new product that I never look at. Scoreboard, stickers, my books I made for mini alphas, sticker alphas, and words. These are different um, embellishments for category. My SCT magazines, alphas I still have to figure out what to do with, like chipboard and that kind of stuff. Up here, more 6x6 six six taken apart that has to be redone. Extra ribbons, paper pads, and my washi book. Different cutting things. These are 4x6, um, 3x4s, etc. Stamps I'm thinking about. Photos are here. And then these are my color... Not color bins they'd be my color boxes I guess where like that then I have some chipboards in this extra little, tiny small flowers in here buttons and then all these medallions that I made are here this is wood veneer this is more chunky alphas I don't know what to do with and then markers so that sums that up over there. Then these are my kits that I've put together and paper, hmm, page, not kits, that's just paper for, you know, like three to four papers for a group. Then this <laughs> is my new embossing, stamping, and die cutting center. So these are all my embossing folders. I haven't been buying any more because I don't need to because I'm at 117. I'm not a big stamper, but I have stamps and I don't know why. I got these on clearance at Joann's for five bucks yesterday. So, and then these are my dies to here. Then I've got my smaller dies and embossing folders, my Sizzix, my Close to My Heart ink, and then the Tim Holtz travel platform, and my cuddle bug. And then these are layouts that I've got a journal. And then down here I've got my silhouette and Cricut mats, my big cutter. And then these are the drawers, and they fit into there beautifully, and I got all of them labeled. Then this is my computer area, so I've got all my silhouette and cricket stuff here, my Cameo, and then my computer, and my printer, my big printer, and then the picture mate. Then I've got my specialty papers down here. Photo papers, sticker papers, those kind of things. Um, I haven't done much with this yet, except put my Cricut there. And then on the desk, I've got my two lights, and I've got for sketches, I've got my adhesives and those kind of things that I use most often. And then I dug out some inks and the um, Versa Magic Chalk that I like, the gingerbread. And the other one is wheat.
because I like those colors. Then I got the little tool caddy and my ATG and my trimmer. Then down here on one of the shelves, this is an old embroidery floss thing that I got from work. And so I keep my scissors and my craft knives and sewing folders, piercing tools, etc. In there, other tools and things down here. And then this bit of loveliness is filled with nothing but border strips and stickers sorted by color. Then I have my date stamps, which I never use, tape, miscellaneous items, toilet paper to blow my nose, uh, my waste basket, <laughs> and then clear down here. I don't know, these are the Xyrons. And then on this shelf over here, we have extra adhesives and stuff, and paint, and glitter, and <coughs> unfinished things. And then this one over here is kind of like office supplies and those kind of things, and I still have to figure out what to do with those. This has to do with ancestry, my one side of my family, and then my husband's family. And for scrapbooking, that about sums it up, but I'll give you a little overview of the loveliness. We'll finish with the loveliness over there. There's beautiful drawers, all nice and organized. Oh, I almost forgot. My solution for my border punches that I use most frequently are in these two sets of drawers, and they're all labeled now. So I know what's what. We got basics, and then we have other shapes, and then the, and then the close to my heart. Um, Cutting system, cutters, the Martha Stewart thing. And then down here I have those. These are papers I didn't like that I'm gonna use for, you know, to wallpaper on. Then I have my little guillotine printer. And I found this at Tuesday morning and got it. It's a tag punch. Don't know why, it was like seven bucks, but I can cut tags myself, so. Um, but that's about it. Um, and then my stool, but usually I stand. So I'll guess I'll load this up to my YouTube and then send you a link. Um, I forgot over here we got crochet top twine. These are punches, punched out shapes I did with the covers. These are doily type things I cut on my silhouette. These are more die cuts, and this is chipboard. This is an unfinished product that says spring that Aaron started and didn't finish. And I have my whopping like four stencils up here, a clock, and templates. We've got a couple of Kiwi lanes here, and then this template. And that about sums it up. Well, you know, I got my spare blades in there. Got patriotic, I've got pearls, silver, gold, gold. Graduation, leaves and branches, metal, wire, gold paper clips, which I never use. And then like mini clothes pins that I don't ever use. So, and then that's cross stitch. And my books, and then there's Clear down there because I don't do it anymore is beading stuff, you know, jewelry making, that kind of thing. Um, my sewing area is over there. You can't look at it because it's a mess. So let me know what you think.